everyone, it's Jennifer from Craft Forest. Today I am so excited to welcome Jenny Doan from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi, I, Jenny. I'm delighted to be here, but in a moment Thank ago you. she called me illustrious. The illustrious I, li I like to be illustrious. It's true. I'm a little, I'm a little starstruck. It's oh true. Oh my goodness. It's true. So today, if I can get myself together, we're going to make these super cute paper flowers. Do you want to make darling. some flowers? I love to. I, I don't get to do a lot of this stuff, good, and so good. I love to do it. All right. So to make these, really, really simple. You can actually make this entire garland in about 30 minutes. Wow. The whole thing that we need are some scrapbook paper. We're going to use a six by six. Does it have to be scrapbook paper? It doesn't have to be scrapbook okay. paper. It's Wrapping just a good paper weight. would be great. It's a great weight. Construction paper. Okay. I tried them out of fabric, but I couldn't get them to work correctly. <laughs> so what we need are, today we're going to use some scrapbook paper, and these are six by six squares, uh, perfect size for our flower, and we'll show you exactly how we're going to draw that out and, and how we're going to cut it. You can do a smaller size, you can do a larger size, really whatever you need. We need a way to draw it. We're going to use a pencil or a pen, some scissors, and then I'm using some clear glue, but you could also use a glue gun, you could use school glue, whatever you have on hand works great. So, ready to make some? I am excited to do this. Good, good. All right, so pick your paper. Okay, I think I'll do this pink one. Okay. These are just so cute. I love okay, them. I think good. they're adorable. I do too. I think they're really fun. I'm going to do this uh, floral here. Okay, so grab your pen. Okay. And all we're going to do is draw a spiral. Do you remember drawing those when you were a kid? Yes. So we're going to start with kind of a larger circle in the middle. Okay. And we're just going to spiral out. And we're going to try to get them kind of evenly spaced and spiral all the way to the edge <laughs> of your paper where you're kind of ending on one of the sides. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect. So then we're going to well, grab... My, my spiral's a little square. <laughs> I like your spiral. I like your spiral. We're going to roll it so it's going to okay. work perfectly. So now we're going to cut these guys out. Okay. All right. So grab your scissors. And we're going to start at your end here. Okay. And we're going to cut kind of around in a spiral. So honestly, most of the crafting things that I've ever done was mm -hmm. to entertain my children. <laughs> yeah. These are great. These are great. This um, is, they, they would have loved this. My son, when I was making these, said he actually made these in art class, like they were old school. Oh, that's school, very and cool. He knew all about them. So we'll keep cutting around in a circle. Do you have to cut many spirals out of fabric when you're I making quilts? I don't. I don't no. cut many spirals. No. So, I'm concentrating very hard. Sorry, Can you I, won't, tell? I won't talk while you're, <laughs> while you're cutting. So we'll keep going around and around in a circle. All right, I'm going. Okay. And your lines don't have to be perfect if you're not. Mine are on not your perfect. Line, I'm actually trying to even up my lines it. as I'm going around because. It's okay. Because my, uh, my lines weren't very evenly spaced. <laughs> My. I'm a novice at this drawing. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so how far do I stop before the so, center? Yeah, we're going to leave our centers. Let me show you guys at home if you can see this. We're going to leave our center because that's actually, we're going to spiral this around and actually glue it to the bottom part here. So maybe cut in just maybe okay, a little, just bit, a little bit further. And I'm cutting too slow, I think, here. You're, well, you're you ahead have, of me. You have a lot more little pieces. And um, and I'm wondering if, uh, what kind of, what, you know, what difference the, how different yeah. the flowers are going to yeah. look because your petals are going to be thinner and mine are going to be you're for sure going to be great fatter. though and then we can just roll yours a little tighter be really fun to see yeah so and I'll, everyone is probably different every single one is different that's if you look awesome. to like on ours back here every single one is different i think that's part of the charm it, it makes it is really, really fun. charming okay so on mine i've got kind of a weird little square piece here i don't uh -huh. know if you guys can see that so i'm just going to snip that off okay so like snip mine. yours like right there okay. perfect all right, so you can see we've got, we'll move these guys over here. We've got a spiral with a print on one side and our drawing on the other side. And what we're going to do basically is roll these guys. We're going to roll it so that we're actually rolling the solid, the drawn on side, over the print. Oh, this way? So this way. Oh, we're okay. going to roll the solid on top of the print, okay? Do you just start real tiny? You just start tiny because that's going to be the center of your flower. All and right. just keep going, keep going. It's interesting that you roll the uh, the solid part, so that because it looks like you'd think you'd roll it with yeah. the color on the outside. So when it opens, we want our our print to actually be on the inside. But if you had something that was printed on both sides, you could go either way. But we have our our white, and then we have our drawing on that side. So All we'll right. keep rolling, rolling, rolling. And really, there's no perfect way to do these. <laughs> promise. <laughs> Yours looks great. She's, she's a pro, see? I'll tell you, I can quilt. Yeah. <laughs> she can quilt. 
I can barely stitch things together. <laughs> she can quilt, but I can roll paper. Oh. Well, I'm yeah. giving, uh, I'll, I'll practice. I'll get better. You She's can do good. anything with practice, right? You can, you can. So keep rolling. <laughs> and you might find that it gets a little tight depending on the size. Like mine got a little wider at the end and it gets maybe a little wonky to roll, but that's okay because it's going to open it up and it's not going to be a problem. All right. So you keep rolling until you're at your center. And then your center is where we're actually going to glue. Okay. So we'll grab some glue. And if you kind of set it down on the table, I'll give you some glue. And we'll kind of make just a little bit of a circle. And we're just using, again, a clear craft glue. And then you kind of hold it so that it pops open and kind of fans oh, open. Oh. <laughs> and then you can stick it okay. down to glue. All right. Let me, so I'll let glue me, mine. Let me just open this up a little okay. bit, see how it... And I love that you can kind of just change the shape. You can make it wider. You can make it smaller. And the straight edges, the, the glue will hold that? The glue will hold it and kind of push it in. Just hey, hold it down. I think I did it. You did do it. Aren't those okay. cute? That is so cute. And so simple. Look. Gosh, you could, too. you could use these on all kinds of things, too. You could do, I mean, the garland is one yeah. thing, but you could do little hair clips. Or, oh, yeah. Super cute for a little oh, hair really clip. Oh, really cute. Look, I did it. <laughs> So these are so simple to make, aren't they? They really are, and fun, so yeah. fun. So all That you, happened really fast. It did, it did, you did it. We, we survived, we made some really cute I know, cute I'm so amazed. So you really can make a lot of these really, really quickly. Again, all you need is some scrapbook paper. Um, I use six by six squares so that I have all my flowers be uniform, some glue, some scissors, and a way to draw it, and that's it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this floral tutorial from Craft Forest. Thanks awesome. for coming, Jenny, from Missouri Star Quilt Company. Thanks for having me. And we'll see you here back next week for an all new video. Thanks guys. Well, I hope you will make more of these and I hope you guys will make these. Really simple. Yep. <laughs> it's so simple. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> it was big.